Hey, welcome back. I'm Jason Hardy with Elite Barbecue Smokers. And today I'm gonna try to do this. A Snake River Farms Wagyu Denver Steak. Don't that look good? I'm telling you right now, boys and girls, this is one recipe that I promise you, you wanna do over and over and over. It is that good. All that being stated, let's get to prepping and get to cooking. Don't that look so good? Come on, this is gonna be fun. All right, to start with, what we're gonna do for this steak right here, to make sure we get all the flavor we want to, I'm actually gonna take it out of the package, we're gonna salt brine it for a little while while we're making our chimichurri, and then we'll put it on the grill. Let's show you how we do that. Again, this is Snake River Farms Wagyu Gold. This is black gray. I'm telling tell you right now, this right here is gonna be unbelievable. We cook many of these and I love them to death. A Denver steak is a very tender cut of meat. I've got a lot of flavor to it. It's truly one of them steaks that's been underappreciated. It's one of my favorites. Why don't y'all just look at all that marbling? Isn't that crazy? All right, so what we're gonna do, while we're making chimichurri sauce, I'm gonna put a little bit of kosher salt in here and put it in the refrigerator and let it salt brown for about 20 minutes. I just gonna let the salt get down to the meat. The thickness of it is, I need to get a little more flavor down into it. Now, I don't wanna use a lot because my rub I'm gonna put on here later on, it's gonna help complement the flavor. Let's get in the refrigerator. For our chimichurri sauce, what we're gonna have is one shallot finely chopped up, one jalapeno finely chopped up, make sure you take the seeds out. You got one habanero pepper here. I'm gonna coarsely chop this up so it gives me some texture to it. Then I'm gonna add in half a cup of cilantro, finely chopped up again. A quarter cup of flat leaf parsley, finely chopped this up. Three to four cloves of garlic, minced. And then half a cup of red wine vinegar. Next, you're gonna have in three quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. And lastly, two tablespoons of oregano, finely chopped up. Take all this, and mix it all together. So now I'm gonna set this to the side over here. So we're on our steak. So my steak had its salt brine on it. What I'm gonna do now is just take a paper towel and get the extra excess kosher salt that didn't get down into it all. I ain't gonna all of it, I just gonna get most of it. Now because I've done that, what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of olive oil and just act as the binder. You don't need a lot, just a little bit. So the rub I'm using today for this Denver steak is King's Barbecues. This is the king of the beef rub. It's a good rub, it's got good flavor to it. Compliment this steak very well. Get all the sides of it. Got it nice and seasoned up. Now I'm gonna take this, go put this on the grill, we'll cook this bad boy up. But before we go any further though, I need to add some salt to this. I totally forgot to add salt to this. My chimichurri sauce. Now we'll put this in the refrigerator and let the, the flavors break down in this while we're grilling the steak. So let's get this steak on the grill and get the party started. But for this, I am very much looking forward to. See it at the grill. Got this thing set up on a hot side and a cool side. What I'm gonna do is take this steak and I'm gonna put it right here. It's starting to sear a little bit because I'm running at 500 degrees. Now what I'm gonna do is take this and I'm gonna rotate this around. So this will be over here. We're gonna let this go for two minutes and then I'm gonna flip it over the other side. All right, so right at two minutes, two minutes and 30 seconds to be exact. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna bring it to this side. And then I'm gonna rotate it back around. The reason I'm doing that is my grill grates over here over the racks are so hot that it's basically creating too much. And I don't want it, I don't have an even cook. So you can see it got a little sear on it, looking good. We'll go another two minutes, keep flipping it. We got another two minutes. We'll do the same thing. Take the steak, pull it to this side. You start seeing it, see that sizzle, man? God, that looks good. Rotate it around and around. And my grate is still back over here. We're gonna let it keep cooking. Another two minutes and do it again. All right, so we're another two minutes in. We're starting to get the fire going. See this here? That's what we're looking for. That fat's rendering out. It's a little bit of flare up. So we'll take it, pull it over to the other side. I'm gonna take it, because it's got a flare up going there. I'm gonna put this side over here. A little bit outside of it. All right, so we have another two minutes. So I'm gonna take it now, I'm gonna pull it over here. I'm gonna rotate it again. I'm gonna keep it right here on the edge. I don't wanna get over to the right where I had to flare up before. I'm gonna pull it to the side. Now I'm gonna go right now one minute, and then we'll flip it over and we'll check it. 
All right, so been another minute. I'm gonna pull it over here. All right, let's see where we at. Pull it to the side here. Right there in dead center, it's right at 123. We'll pull this off, let it rest. So what I'm gonna do now is take this inside. I'm gonna let this rest here at least 10 minutes. I want to allow the time for the flavors and all the juice to migrate throughout the entire steak. And we're gonna slice it up and taste it. And it's gonna be delicious. Looks good, doesn't it? Let's get inside and let it rest. All right, so we brought this inside. We let it rest about 10 minutes or so. I want y'all to look at this. Don't it look absolutely amazing? All the moisture in there, you can see it around the steak, has absorbed up back into the steak. We get ready to slice the bad way up and taste it. I tell you, man, looks good, feels good. Dang, this is gonna be delicious. You ready? Let's slice it up. See what's going on. Look at that. Perfectly cooked steak right there. Tender, medium rare. Look at that right there. Don't that look good? All right, we're gonna taste it up. What I'm gonna do is pull a piece right out in the middle right here. Perfectly cooked steak, man. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm gonna cut this in half. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna taste it first without the chimichurri. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you something. Other. I don't know if I wanna put chimichurri on this. The char from the outside, a little flare that we had with that rub is absolutely amazing. God have mercy. Oh, let's put some of this chimichurri on it. Come right here. Like that. Cheers. Tell you right now, if you don't try this recipe, you are in your you are gonna be sorry. That's all I got to say. This is absolutely, it's phenomenal. Y'all, this is a simple recipe. Absolutely delicious recipe. Denver steak is something other that anybody in the world would be amazed at. It's an underrated piece of meat, but it's one that's got a ton of flavor to it. Snare River Farms brought this out to us and it's absolutely top, top of the line. Links down below, you can purchase this steak. I encourage everybody out there to take this steak, go buy this steak, follow this recipe, follow this technique. You've seen what we've done and cook this steak, and I promise you, you will be absolutely amazed. It is that good, and I'm not joking about that. Hey, do me a favor, give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how you grill your steak. And if you try this Snake River Farms Denver Steak, let me know how it turns out for you. I know you'll be happy, but let me know. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We greatly appreciate that, and share it with your friends and family. I'm gonna say the blessing, we'll go eat this steak. But before we do that, we gotta let me Dolly try it. Come on, girl. <laughs> Dolly liked it. If Dolly like it, I know you will too. Was it good? She loved that one. Let's say the blessing. Lord, bless food by our seed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God have mercy. This ought to be illegal. See you next time. Try this recipe.